BBC bosses have refuted claims that Jermaine Jenner's texting scandal has stalled the Strictly Come Dancing investigation. In the wake of two departures from the show, the BBC had launched a probe into the welfare of celebrity contestants during rehearsal sessions with their professional dance partners. Despite rumors suggesting the investigation had been sidelined following Jermaine Jenner's exit from the one show, a source has spoken out to clarify that these events have not affected the progress of the inquiry, affirming it's very much active. The awaited results from the BBC's inquiry addressing claims made by former contestant Amanda Abington, who dramatically left the dance competition and subsequently filed numerous complaints against her dance partner Giovanni Pernis, were anticipated this week. Speaking to the Mirror, an insider stated, these matters are entirely unrelated and incorrect. This comes after assertions from another insider indicating the publication may be postponed until at least the following week, speculating it could even extend into next month, reports The Mirror. Adding to the broadcaster's woes, according to a report in the Daily Mail, an informant remarked, the BBC are caught in a perfect storm right now. It's one disaster after the next. They've had to deal with Hugh Edwards and now the Jermaine Genus scandal has come at him from almost out of nowhere. An insider told us, they are acutely aware they need to announce the findings of the Strictly Come Dancing investigation and that all eyes are on them. They know there will be a lot of scrutiny over whatever they decide to say, so they need to get the timing right and to ensure any questions people have about the investigation can be dealt with. Giovanni has denied all allegations against him. Meanwhile, Graziano Di Prima was also reportedly axed for kicking his partner Zara McDermott. Jermaine Genus was let go by the BBC after it emerged that he had been messaging female colleagues. His dismissal was confirmed on Thursday afternoon, while he was presenting a show on radio station TalkSport, who have since confirmed he won't be back in a presenting role. The match of the day and the one-show presenter was removed by the BBC from their presenting lineups. Genus has since done an interview with The Sun where he said he did nothing illegal but he considers his actions as cheating. He said, I did nothing illegal these were inappropriate messages between two consenting adults. I'm not proud of what I wrote and what I said. And I do consider it cheating, yes, although nothing physical ever happened. This is all on me and I fully accept there is a level of responsibility that needs to be upheld when you're a member of the BBC. And I fell below those standards. I must take the responsibility. Jermaine has spoken out admitting he is seeking help and expressing remorse for his actions. He stated, I have let myself down, my family, friends and colleagues down, and I owe everyone an apology especially the women with whom I was messaging. I am so, so sorry. He continued by acknowledging the pain H has caused, saying, I am sorry for what I have put him through. I think it would be fair to say I have a problem. I know I self-sabotage and have a self-destructive streak when it comes to my relationship especially, and I know I need help. And I am getting help.